I will call this session to order. Uh, Jesus could order is coming down any time, but I will uh, hold me subject to the condition that when he comes in, Jesus will ratify whatever we've said here. So that uh, I will have to inform him what we've discussed. So to my time, uh, this is a very important bill for our country. Uh, Subic was a game changer. Uh, and the home Subic fathered eventually other zones. Clark followed. To give you a historical background, when the bases suddenly left, the country was never really ready for it. As I was telling Congresswoman Roman. We had the only plan called the Freeport, which I gave to President Ramos when I was still mayor. Way back in 1980, I did that with other agencies. When I gave it to President Ramos, he said, the bases are not going to be dismantled. I said, you know, it might be. I just want to be sure we're ready. So to make a long story short, when it happened, I brought the Subic Bay Preport Plan right away. And if you look at that BCDA law, that law provisions lang yan, di ba? Three or four ba? Yang SBMA and other special economic zones that included CART, that included the Union, uh, Four Point, and Baguio. And let me give you my further background. Uh, Napubian. Subic succeeded beyond anybody's imagination. I was very confident of the plan. It became the number one report, number one tourism destination in less than a year. We were awarded that. Rama said, where Subic goes, the Philippines goes. You can check your records. And then there was a lobby. The class will become a free port. You will recall that, the well, no? Sabi ko kay President Ramos, you cannot do that, you cannot, you have to legislate. No, we'll do it, sabi niya. Sabi ko matatalo kayo dyan pagdating sa Supreme Court. Ginawa yan. Boom. May nakahilata ngayon sa kwan. Yung mga malalaking mayayaman dito, natakot. Sabi ko, bakit yung pinapayagan niyang Clark, na may mga pre-port, malaba tayo ang SM, malaba tayo lahat sa malalaki, Robinson, lahat. Uh, at uh, sabi, do not allow that. Uh, Inalaw ni Presidente, Ramos. So, the moment natapos siya, nung nawala na si President Ramos, ang ginawa pa nila, di-reduce nila yung allowance na nakapag-shopping ang mga kababayan natin, sa Subic and Clark, at that time, with the board back, we said we will give an allowance of $200 per person who goes to Subic and, and later on it was brought to Clark. Umbisa pa lang ng Subic, yung mga hindi naniniwala sa akin eh, hindi rin matutuloy. Nung magawa na, guess kung sino ang unang-unang nagsya-shopping. Sila may mga kartilyo doon. And what will happen, Clark boomed also nagkaroon ng kumpiyahan sa Pampanga. Tama ba yan? Itan me if I'm lying. And then when Thomas left, dinimanda sila, tinanggal ang pre-port ng Clark. Tinanggal ang pre-port ng daw niyo sa lahat. Nagpunta sa akin ang negosyante ng Clark. I was already a senator by then. Sabi ko, I will fight for it. And we restored the pre-port status of Clark. By any language, Clark should not be a preport because it doesn't have an ocean. And for my life, I justification, or you can fence it off. So you can fence Clark, and it had a natural fence on a seaport. The vision of this representation was eventually Subic and Clark will become a common destination, a common effort. Along the post too small, hemmed in by mountains, I cannot be selfish. Wala naman ako ibubuga. Pulong na yan eh. Can you show the back, please? And then, Subi, ayaw pa nila na mag-join. So, ano nangyari? Nakagulo. You know who brought in, uh, for the benefit of Congresswoman Roman, I brought in 
shell. We bought, we, we created the first platform. Eh, by, pakituro lang somebody, uh, somebody help me. Ami, can you help out? Yung pinalalagyan ng kawasaki ang ilang kwan, ang uh, kwan yan. Nilagyan namin dyan. Ito sa kaliwa. Diyan namin ginawa yung malampaya, malampaya, uh, tawag doon, uh, port, yung terminal, yung, yung, uh, iba. Ha? Yung pasimano ng, uh, may mga post yan, nilagyan dyan, tinuo yan, dilagyan dyan. The Philippines got kudos from Shell because overnight we signed the contract. Overnight, that's the fastest deal ever made. Multi-million dollar structure. And the idea, sabi ko, pag natapos kayo dyan, kung ayaw nyo na, lilipat ang Olongo po dyan because wala nga din lugar. Yun yung Olongo po. Can somebody point it out, please? Or do I have to go out there? Can you point it out? So, yan ang ulang ko po. There. See? Used to be a barrio of Subic. So, ang plano was to move it to the other side and put the ferries. And I'm glad my good friend, Jesus Scudero, is here, who's going to be the next governor. I'm sorry, so long. And uh, we will move it there. Ano nga nangyari ngayon? Ginungan namin yung airport for FedEx. Hanjin, for the first time, was building an airport. You're taking it down already, no? Uh, in Kalate, at the cruise, nagustuhan ng Hanjin yung patakbo namin si Subi. All of a sudden, they wanted to build a shipyard. Thanks to this representation and Ayman Aresa, who is here, we were able to get Hanjin to build that multi-billion dollar behemoth that builds the biggest ships in the world today. Makibigay sa Pinasa. Kasi ang Pinasa bin eh, wala walang incentives. Eh kung wala yan, wala kayong tax base. Kung hindi tumakbo yung Olongo po at uh, Quark at saka Subic, wala kayong tax base. You think pupunta yung mga tao yan, hindi namin pinakita na kaya namin gawin. Nagkaroon ng tax base. I can show you the record of BIR. You can check. Saan ang BIR? Wala kayong collection niya, di ba? Income, VAT, DUSARWAS. Ang logo po. So, naging... Ngayon na naman, sinasamba na naman namin yan. This is presentation. Talk with the president the other night. Sabi ko, ship kunin natin yan. Hindi ako sigurado ang alis yan, pero kumukuha lang ng gabi yan. Magas may utang. So, kung papayag sila, we take over Soso at Korea. I just talked to the ambassador from Japan. We take it over Japan and uh, Korea and then some businessmen here, I don't want to call them Taipans, and sell shares to the public. We can put up our Philippine shipyard and we can have, and we can build our bottoms in in that area. Just, I'm just giving some background. Mr. Sarah. No, no, I'm just here to provide the call. Thank you. Now we have a call. I can now call it formally to order. All right. Session is on order. I was giving background. <laughs> so, uh, Subic was never a pain in the ass of anybody. Clark became a facet. Then came Batahan, Rivales. That is the first export processing zone in the country. Marcos built it. All the way from Manila, they built North Expressway right to the Batahan Highway and built it. Namatayan due to strikes. Na wala. The Garcias asked me to continue what Lauren Legada started because Lauren nagkakaroon ng histrionics fireworks then. Hindi saan ang AFAB? Hindi naman AFAB? You can, you can attest to this. And some people again didn't want AFAB. The mayor didn't want AFAB. I went there. There is just I can assure you, Papa Tokito. Pumatok na yun ang AFAB. Papa, may bill pa sila rito. Sabi ko, nakasama na yan sa rich. So to make a long story short, sir, kayong lahat, pag nangyari na ito, ginawa namin yung rich 
which is a combination of all the, ta the provinces of Bulacan, Ivaycia, Tarlac, Pampanga, Batangan, Aurora, and Zambales. It will take advantage of the most rich infrastructure-wise region in the country. Three airports, Subic, Wright, and Manila, and if Ramon Ang builds his airport there, we will have four major airports. Now, I ask you, 25 years na yan, Subic, kumita nga yung Olongo po, yung Subic, hindi Olongo po, kumita yung Subic, Olongo po na, yung naging dormitoryo kami, wala man negosyo malaking pumasok yan eh. Ang uh, Pampanga, kumita na yan, di ba? But, when I was talking about this, uh, we want you to know, now because of this, we could have had investments on both sides of Bataan. Ang daming, ang daming bayan eh. Makikinabang dito, Bataan, Pampanga, ito lang. Ang daming, ang daming bayan, ang daming lote. So, we did rich. Master plan the whole area. Every governor can now master plan. May, that's the direction. And now that it's about to be a bill, about to be a, about to be signed by the president, I had to go see the president because I understand my reservations to Sunny Dominguez, who is my classmate, who didn't even tell me. Yeah, upset ako. Sabi ko, Mr. President, do not veto this bill. And I can promise you, we can decongest Manila, which is the plan of Marcos, disperse all the industries in Manila, give them incentives to go in there, and all this vacant land will do that. You know, Iglesia de Cristo no tayo dyan, hinaharan ng BIR, ni Kiminares. Ngayon, andyan ang liga. Ngayon, lumalaki na, maglalagay na ng mga hotel-hotel dyan. You see, we cannot plan on takot. Sabi nga ni Roosevelt, the only thing you have to fear is fear itself. You have to take a risk. Well, the dice. Now, in contradistinction, when you look at Hong Kong, started out as an island, you can say that island of, of course, Hong Kong Island went to Kowloon, Kowloon went to the new territories, it went to Shenzhen, and I visited Shenzhen in 1985. It was just a backwater fishing town with a few buildings. You go to Shenzhen now, have you been there? Kowloon style, Kowloon, Hong Kong. Then it's now Guangzhou, China, and I have a, I have a, I have a study that I made here. She's, a, I made a study that I made here called the Hong Kong strategy. So I because China will become big, Vietnam will compete with us. We have to move fast, and to make a long story short, here is it. So because they got on Taiwan, they got on North Korea, so that part, among investors, will put that outside the Asian mainland because Kubagang Agulujan must save sila outside the Asian mainland. Now, let me now go to the point at issue. Point at issue is we now have a bill. In this country, when you do something right, marami na ingit eh. Nung nilabang ko yung report ng court, napasa ko, eh tinawag ko doon sa UP, ubalis ako, one senator here who's trying to come back, change the bill. Pasok, pasok na. Ino na yung SBNA bill. Tinanggal yung powers over... Ha? Telecommunications. Power. Recommended ng World Bank yan eh. Andiyan lahat ng power. Pwede kasi yun lahat. Because it is a free port. Look at Hong Kong. It's, look at Singapore. That area, look at Hong Kong. And if you go back to Subi, including Morong Hermosa, Kasi yun, San Marcelino, we are bigger than Hong Kong. We are bigger than Singapore. Right? Yeah, no? So, yeah, we are here. The product, the purpose of this bill is just to restore what was removed. Alright? And I didn't start it. It was started in the House. In fairness to Congresswoman Raban, I credited with their vision. And Congressman, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, huh? And, 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 and one, no? So, babalik yan. And we're now going to change and tweak the bill a little bit. We spent, after the wee hours of the morning, this morning, 
planning what we were going to do. Because ang dali maglagay sa bill, pero yung practicality, baka hindi mangyari. So I'll just give you the overview. Mabilis lang. Olongo po, language. Look at Olongo po. Pakilakihan mo nga, iya. And that's my hometown. It cannot be grudge free for that. Just as I cannot be grudge free if he wants to build. So, so on. So we have build. What's our wales? Nakita na lang doon sa Wild Philippines. Ginamit na doon sa Pacquiao fight. Hindi pa nagbayad sa amin ang mga dentek na yan. If you go to Hong Kong, to the city, Jane, it is all overcrowded like Baguio. Can somebody help Jane, please? Wala nga lugar. At ang nangyayari yan, ginukuha na ng SM lahat yung bahang din lupa dyan, like Baguio. So I will also say, well, I'm also have a bill changing Baguio. Direct siya ko daw. Hindi mo tulungan siya. Now, what we want to do now is move the gates out. It's already approved by President Arroyo. Hindi lang ngayon magawa. Aabot yung gate sa dinalupihan, that will be the customs preport zone. Right? Kaya mong i-gate yun eh. Isa lang, isa lang ang, uh, ang entry, tsaka sa tipo. And then, it will go to first to Batain, Zambales, and then when they're ready, we go to Castillo, San Marcelino. Right now, San Marcelino, Castillo, Morong and Hermosa are preport zones. I'll give you another story out of the Boulevard of Broken Dreams, Geraldine. When the Bataan Refugee Center was closed, binigay sa akin ng Bataan Refugee Center, medyo ubal may ibang mga kaibigan natin. Later on, naging kaibigan ko yun yung mga taong mahal ba. Sa amin yan, sa amin yan. Binigay sa kanila ngayon. No, ano nangyari? Nakalbo yung Bataan Refugee Center. Wala nangyari. Naglagay ng general. You know, no offense meant. Ang, ang pag-tragy din ng bayan natin, hindi pinapayagan yung mga local governments na lumaki. Pag lumaki, napapakialaman na ng na national government. Gagawa ng idea sa baba, papakialaman na ng national government afterwards. I hope you're taking this down. I can stand before anybody and uh, uh, challenge anybody on this court. So what happened now is Moron should have been built a long time ago. We built the road there connecting to the gate. Tinino mo na dyan. I mean, I, wala akong objection dyan, di ba? In fact, I passed by there. But they did. So, ano sabi ko? Sayang naman. You could have beaches there now. At least, I wanna it there. Right? And there will be others as we go on. Depending on what we do now with this bill, a chance of a lifetime, we can quickly now move to rich. We can now put report of Subic and Olongapo, uh, meaning Subic Bay, Olongapo and the freeport of Subic Town, all the way to the Nilupihan, Yaudin. And then, Morong and Hermosa, we start special economic zone. Pero sa ngayon, hindi mo na kailangan, pero in the law, it's special economic zone. Now, can you imagine the impact? Alibaba sa Mabalak at may impact ang Clark. At Harlak, may impact yan. Hindi na natin kailangan because you have rich now. Dikit-dikit na sila. I dream... My next year, kung approve the president yan, I will take a delegation, I will follow the governors and the congressmen, and with our contacts, and if I will just show you today what I went through, we just opened a company where I put the Japanese show. It is now going to be the biggest Japanese company manufacturing precision robotics. All right? It will make 120,000. Ayan, oh. Uh, products na, na talagang highly high precision. So pag pumasok na yan ngayon, mabilis na lahat siya sa Morong, Hermosa. Kailangan lang natin i-subdivide. Kailangan lang natin i-subdivide yung mga lupa. Master plan na naman yan. Sa Bataan, kailangan nyo ng master plan. Just because you write it in the law, it's not gonna happen. Kaya mabilis ang Subic at Clark. Nakaayos na eh. May mga bakante lote na eh. May mga bakante mga pens na, may mga building papasukin lang. But to start a new zone, even in AFAB, I had to give money to AFAB, get an insertion there to build dormitories and to build more warehouses there, factories. God is my witness. That is the God-forsaken truth. 
So now, we're here now, and we want to finish this and try to get this done in the remaining time possible. So, uh, ang pinag-uusapan na namin ni General Dean yung sa sharing. Here, I have a say. I, I, I'd like to say. We, we, we fight over sharing. Natural sa ating yun eh. Bakit siya meron? I, I call it, look at the definition of civil minimums. <laughs> Bakit siya meron? Ako wala. Bakit siya may airport? Ako wala. Bakit ang share niya ganun? Ako wala. You know, if I were to be very frank and guarded, forgive me for my uh, insolence, no? Umahan ko na kayo. Kung wala ang ulong ko po, dinakaw yung subit. Ano nang lahat ng tao? Kaya nilagyan ko ng pangalan lahat na nag-volunteer yan eh. Kaya pag lumamatay yung mga magulang nila, nagdadalay sila ng bulaklak doon. So you can imagine na bigyan naman natin ng pagkakataw niya. Pero ang totoo niya, nag-alay sila na yung mga tigawang ka po na iba, nagpunta na sa Amerika bigyan sa trabaho sa Navy yan. Mga bago na, tiga patahan, tiga pampaga, kayo na, kausap ko. Saan ka nagtatrabaho? Saan ka di kasahan ka? Ano sabi kami? Laguna. Ikaw, saan ka nagtatrabaho? Subi. By the way, Congressman uh, Raman, when I went to, kwan, palakpaka sila, umasok ko doon, nagkatrabaho na. Tiga saan ka? Tiga kesum po. Batahan, ha? Ikaw, tiga saan ka? Tiga saan buwan ka po. Paano ka nakapunta? May trabaho po dito. That is what I'm trying to tell you all, and please, Explain it in no uncertain terms. I will define it for you. All right? Green and brown field. Brown field, pag kami tao na brown field, of course, you know, they defecate ang tao to make it, to be vulgar about it, nagkakaroon ng brown field. May tao, di na, tapakan niya na, di ba? Green field, wala pang tao, masyado. Doon tayo maglalagay. Tanungin ko kayo, para matapos ang labanan dito, no? BIR, makakapag... Anong matatax natin sa Greenfield? Doon wala pang pabrika. Wala. Please answer. Uh, definitely, definitely, Your Honor, nothing. Nothing. Uh, Only local government will tax. Just the RPT. RPT. Yeah. Alright? Bakit kayo matatakot sa finance? na maglagay tayo ng ganyan, maglagay tayo ng incentives, di naman, ang kagaya ng incentives yan, ha? O, tumayo ba? Ang laki na lang ginasos natin sa infrastructure yan. Hindi pa pumapatok. Malapit na pala doon kay JPE. Kinugawa ko yan, bata pa ako sa kanyang lovis, ang araw pa. Yan ang ninong ko doon sa ulong ko po, kaya nalinis ko yan. Ekotary Defense. Pero ginawa namin yan, wala! Nilagay pa dyan si Inky Reyes, my deputy in Subic. Nag-aaway yung mga mayor. Gusto ko nga. Ang ginawa na sa po, we think, Hansin, di na lang namin sa Cagayan de Oro, di pa natatayo. Yung dalawang mayor, kinoplay na. Umalis yung Hansin. Bakit? Akin ang graba ka. Akin ang employee. Employee. Ang employee. We have to remove that, that parochialism. In the same manner, when you build this, Greenfield, nagtayo tayo, natatayo mo pa lang, may tax sa construction. Bibili ng bat yan, di ba? Bibili ng bat yan, di ba? Bibili ng yun, bibili ng bank, ang semento. Pagkatapos, magpatrabaho yung tao. Meron na siya sa sweldo yan. Tapos, hindi yung kahit sa atin sa rich, maglalagay tayo ng mga eskwela dyan para hindi na mamamasahin yung tao na malayo. Marami akong sad story dyan. Napapay ako pa kinukwento ko. Doon sa San Jose del Monte, papasok ang dalawang mag-asawa, iiwanan yung bata. Yung bata nagluluto ng isang linggo doon dahil walang matitira sa kanilang sondo pag babalik pa sila araw-araw. Dahil ang mahal ng tricycle, ang mahal ng pamasahe. So ang plan niya sa Rich, doon na magtatayo ng mga eskola, doon sa mga misyong bayan. It's not gonna happen just because I say so, but it's gonna be hard, no? Ayun, ayun na. Sabi ng sapon eh, talagang, hindi niya bilib kami sa inyo mga Pilipino. Matatalino kayo at polite. Pinadala niyo yung 80 na magagawa ninyo. Ang bilis sila matuto at they were very polite. Nabihan pa mga tao, hindi lang polite, hindi lang hard work. Kailangan pakita niyo para kayo magdadala ng negosyo. So we now have, and then we are sure this to this. Customs is making money out of there and they go out. Meron ang economic activity. Now, kung malaki na, we can have a sunset provision. And say, okay, okay na. Now, 
What we are now proposing, Senator Escudero, if, 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 if all my colleagues in along in uh, here with it, one, I'm being selfish, Mona, no? Sorry, yeah. I'm being selfish because I'm from Central Luzon. Lahat naman yan, Central Luzon. It's this so called strategy that is a bit to President Marcos. Unfortunately, in Opuan, at hinarang kagod ng mga finance noong araw, katulad ng pag-aarang sa tatay ko nung mayor siya, para maging city na, maglalabi dito, naglagay pa yan nung araw sa isang, hindi ko na sabihin, huwag na natin pag-usapan yan, para maging city. It's always central government that stops what's happening in local government initiatives. Kaya yung iba't ni Kasibuan na sabi, Imperial Manila tayo. I come from that part of the, the country, and so does Chis. So does Senator Escudero, and so does many others. So, to make a long story short, para makapagsimula na tayo dito, alam nyo na ang background. What we're gonna do is, we are toying around with the idea, na pag lumabas ka sa Olongo po, paano ngayon yan? I'll ask the uh, advice of, uh, one, lab kayo. Kung lumabas tayo sa Mabalakad, kung final tax of 5% yan, yellow team, no other taxes, wala na real estate tax yan. Papahay ba yung mayor? Wala yung hindi. All business permits, the authority will take over. If it's going to be like a logo boy clerk right now. Uh, so, ang sinasuggest ko, pag lumabas sa bayan na may tumatakbong negosyo, hindi ka tulad ng Subic at Park, iniwanan, walang laman yan, pwede mong gawin yun eh. Pag lumabas ka na doon sa lugar na may negosyo na, may kita, may income na, first class municipal city, or highly urbanized city, eh, hindi ka tinitignan ng mayor, ipapasok na pera, hindi niya tinitignan, ano ba magagawa ko dito sa bayan ko? Pwede ko bang urban development to katulad ng South Street Seaport, New York, pwede ba sa Pwede ba katulad ng Canary Wharf, babaguhin natin lahat siya katulad ng Pudong, ibinuhat ng China, nilagay nila doon sa kan, gubanda yung Shanghai. Hindi, hindi nila isipin yan. Sorry, three years lang ako dito. Di magsasabantan na ako ng istorito na sabi ko kung lumaki yung income. Pero yung vision of creating a new city, a new area, wala yan. So ang sinasabi ko ngayon, and I'm asking the advice of everyone, including my good colleague here that I respect, who I respect, just a, just a thought. Kung lagin ko ang, ang Hong Kong and it's here, ang Hong Kong ang tax is 15%. They only have three taxes. Property taxes is 15%. Income taxes is 15%. Ha? Ah? Ano? Ina, income yan, salary. Property tax is 15%. And corporate taxes is 15%. Flat. Matagal nang sinabi sa akin ng Taiwan yan. Basta nang sinabi sa akin ng lahat ng negosyo doon, yung sinasayang ng 5%. Tama kami dyan pagka ang gigita dyan, hotel. Pero ang manufacturing lugi, ang effective tax rate yan is about 17%. So, hindi kami, hindi kami masyadong nanginig dyan. Pero ang maganda lang, nasa sentro kayo. Nagandiyo ang lugar niya. So, if we make this now, and this is a suntok sa buwan ngayon, ha? Yeah, did you are a master's in uh, finance? Like your dad? Business ba? Journalism. 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 Okay, I'm going to ask you to do 15%. Lot. But if you do it, do it. If Greenfield, at the 15%, but our taxation under the Constitution must be uniform. Eh? But anyway, this is a Freeport zone. No one has a Freeport, like Freeport Don. But we have 15 percent. Maybe your property tax na yon. Do on na 15 percent. Lahat ng bahay, lahat ng negosyo don 15 percent. Corporate tax is 15 percent. I think corporations will want to go there because mababa ang tax, maganda ang lugar, and they will all make money. So in terms of finance. Para isip ko lang yan, you can shoot it down. Wala, sa, wala pa sa bill yan. Ang bill, hira, 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 pa. Pinagawain natin eh, magkano ang kami sa ulong ko po dyan? Magkano ang kami sa subiktan? Magkano ang kami sa buro? Magkano ang kami sa hermosa? Pag nag tayo, wala na yung common good eh. 
hindi natin nakikita na like BIR, like uh, the finance, hindi natin nakikita yung papasok na trabaho na magkakaroon ng opportunity ang tao that will eradicate poverty. Poverty is an absence of choice. They have choices. At pag ito, dilakon natin, lalakas yan. Now, I've done, I've done my say. Is there anything else? Babalik natin yung, yung tinanggal ni Senator Usmeña no, na medyo uh, like, tinanggal mo lang bigla, absent ako nun eh. Sabi ko na si Sir. Ha? <laughs> Pagbalik ko, wala. Eh, babalik ko yan. Paglalaban ko yan. Ha, dito ako yan. Eh, paglalaban natin sa region natin yan. So, yan lang ang gusto ko sabihin sa inyo. Is there everything else you want to put in the law now? Yung police, baka magkaroon tayong problema because there only, can only be one police force. Security can be done by the security forces within the zone, pero the police is still the national police. By the way, I opposed that when I was a delegate of the Constitutional Convention. Eh, yan ngayon ang Constitution natin eh. One police force. Senator Escudero? Just one point, Mr. Chair. Aside from providing a quorum, can I give an input? Um, I saw a provision in both versions of the House and the Senate that you're giving um, the authority, the power to reclaim yes. land. That's found in a, in, a, in a special law, and later on, um, when PRA was created, was also found in another special law. But under the previous administration, the former president wrote issued rather a memorandum upon the behest of former Secretary Purisima requiring NEDA approval of all land reclamations, effectively amending the reclamation law in the 1960s and effectively amending the PRA law as well. Now, insofar as this is concerned, you might want to craft it in such a way that it will not be bound by such because um, in by way of application and practicality, the DNR will not issue an ECC without a NEDA approval, even if the law does not allow it, because the memorandum requires it. The PRA will not enter into any deal with any entity um, if the NEDA does not approve it pursuant to the existing memorandum as well. So perhaps you might want to address the validity of that memorandum, if at all as against and vis-a-vis -vis this law, because for the past fa four or five years, wala pang reclamation nagagawa ang PRA, malapit na sila matigang, uh, except for I think two, two deals that was approved prior to the issuance of the memorandum. So this might be a toothless tiger unless you address that issue in so far as the yeah. power to reclaim is concerned. Thank you for, you know, Thank you about Senator Shudero. She has a bright and good-looking mother. I had a terrific crush on her because she was the best friend of my, my sister. And uh, naloko siya ng tatay ni Chis, no? <laughs> Hindi naman ako pumuesto doon. Hindi naman ako pumuesto doon. Sipin mo naman ako tawag ko sa kanya, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mas matatang lalaki ka sana ngayon. <laughs> no, no, no. Daddy Diaz, eh. Hindi ko lang kami niya. Si Eddie, but, but Sanis Gaya is a brilliant man. Batman, uh, Dean ng EP. And, you know, the apple does not fall far away from the tree. So having said that, and I expected that kind of a remark from Chief because always very productive. And so, you know, that's one choice. Now we can either say, we'll go through NEDA, or we can get this done and say, and we can argue the point, but ultimately, pero I agree, and I think, I tend to think that Chief Senator Escudero wants that reclamation allowed under certain circumstances. Because, kung ako ang Cebu, diyan yung mama na Cebu. Manila Bay, you should have reclamation. Yan yung mga nga yan, yung Pasa, at saka Malanyaki. Kumita rin ang biyayari dyan, yan. Oo, naidinya nyo. Kumikita ang mga tao dyan. Ang lalaki na suwerte ng mga tao dyan, ang lalaki ng tax dyan. Now, huwag na tayo lumayo pa doon sa pre-ports, no? If you look, when I was a kid, not too very long ago, kayo alam mo siguro yan, Bob, Sumakay ka ng, yeah, di ba? Kung sumakay ka ng Kowloon Perry nung araw to go to Hong Kong Island, ang lapat pa ng dagat, hindi nyo ba napansin ngayon, gano'n na lang? Ha? At nung araw, wala siya ng train underneath, wala lang siya ng highway underneath, highway lang. Eh tayo magbutas lang ng tunnel doon sa tipo. 
sa China, at least may probo po tayo na yung basis nila sa Pilipinas talaga. Kasi lahat ng ginamit nilang buhangin at baturon galing ho sa Pilipinas. Correct. Kaya atin ho talaga yun. Kawawa talaga. Iyon ang ikiklaim natin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uy, tulungan mo ako doon sa kora? Yes, I will. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead. Now everybody can make a comment. I'm sorry, I have to give the background. Go ahead. Kawasuman. Anyway, um, Good afternoon sa inyong lahat at sa ating chair, sa ating mga resource people at ang ating mga kasamaan mula sa SBMA. Uh, ito po nga uh, panukalang batas ng aming pinasa sa mababang kapulungan ng Kongreso ay matagal na pong inaabangan. <laughs> matagal na pong inaabangan ng mga namamahala sa SBMA. Ito po ay uh, matagal ng uh, sinalang uh, mga nakarang Kongreso po. So, balit sa pagkakataon ito po ay naipasa na namin ang mga amyenda sa Republic Act um, 7227. I would like to uh, assure the uh, good senator, who is also known as the father of the SABMA and our visionary for rich, that um, this has uh, been thoroughly discussed in the lower house. It is not a self-centered or myopic bill where LGUs are fighting for their share of the pie. Uh, in fact, uh, we have come to a, uh, uh, and arrived at a Solomonic decision that is a win-win solution for all parties concerned. What I would like to point out about these uh, amendments is uh, the fact that uh, it addresses a very specific problem of the SBMA, which is the problem of space. This is the uh, same reason why uh, the good senator has uh, come up with a very brilliant uh, strategy, which is the Hong Kong strategy. And um, also, uh, he has come up with the rich bill to, to address this problem. In order to address the uh, space problem, uh, what the SBMA does is to incentivize the nomination of lands by the different LGUs. Uh, whereas before, the uh, thrust was to eat away from the existing shares of the different LGUs. Now, it is the status quo. Each LGU, including the uh, municipalities that we have named here in Zambales, as well as the municipalities in Bataan, will still be receiving their share amount. Uh, they are the same amount based on population. But the difference now is that the SBMA will incentivize with 0.5% of their share to LGUs that will c provide income earning land space. That means, hindi naman po ito tayo nagbabayad sa isang bagay na hindi naman po nagdadala sa atin ng kita. So yun po ang maganda sa ating uh, mga amyenda. This uh, bill also addresses the uh, question of representation. I know it is uh, somewhat nominal, you know, but uh, it is good to hear uh, the voice of the different stakeholders, in this case, the different municipalities whose land areas are actually 
uh, occupied and are going to be occupied by the SBMA. I would like to go back also to the um, references of the good senator to the uh, status of the Batan Technological Park. I share your opinion that uh, you know it is uh, it is a it is a waste uh, that um, it is not being used or utilized and uh, I'm sad that uh, Mr. Vince Dizon is not here this uh, afternoon to give us a very acceptable explanation kung bakit po wala namang yatang plano ng BCDA para sa BT BTPI yun po yung dating uh, refugee processing center the BTPI is the form yes hindi po nasa nasa sir binalik napunta sir sa SBMA tapos bi, kinuha ng basis conversion so now this is not included in our amendments but um, I um, sir, I would rather look forward to uh, your our rich bill, wherein uh, we can actually uh, decide, no, in the fate of the BTPI, because there are different uh, measures being discussed in the lower house, and also discussions with BCDA as to the future of BTPI. Um, with this said, uh, Mr. Senator, um, sino support ko po ang lahat ng plano ng SBMA. Ang, ang pag-unlag po ng SBMA at paglawak ay pagdadala rin po ng asenso. Di lamang po para sa aking distrito kung saan tatlong bayan po ang nakalugar dyan sa SBMA, kundi pag-unlag na rin ng buong rehyon. At katulad po ninyo, ako po ay uh, punong-punong po ng enthusiasm sa mga darating pa pong developments sa ating rehyon dahil po sa ating uh, rich bill. So, maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig, sa attention. It was very interesting to listen to your Hong Kong strategy. Pero nais nice ko lang paalala sa buo sa inyo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For that uh, strategy, pinag-uusapan po, naisip ko po kanina, kung uh, lalawat pa ng uh, SBMA, ay welcome na welcome po kayo sa Morong. At uh, handang-handa naman po ang aming mga LGUs, nang usap ko po yung iba't ibang mga alkalde na mag-nominate na mga lupaing kakailanganin ninyo. Maraming salamat po, Senator. Yung being rich lang, yung gusto mo sa rich yan. Sa ano po ito, sa, sa uh, amendments po natin sa 7227. Okay. All right. So, Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, uh, Any other comments? So, uh, can I have a comment from the BIR on what uh, has been discussed here? Sure, Your Honor. Because the bottom line will be, yeah. will uh, the government reap dividends out of this uh, experiment <coughs> or this uh, trust that we're going to have? Yes. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Chair. Good afternoon. We have, we have comments, Your Honor, on the, um, the term uh, gross income. <laughs> because in the first part of the we are in the position of this um, House Bill 8720. Forgive me, I'm having breakfast and lunch. I'm not having okay. breakfast and lunch. <laughs> Mr. Chair, could you ask the resource person to indicate what section and which provision? Uh, the term, the usage of the term gross income, Your Honor. Yes. Because that is in the uh, old law, gross income of 5%. Yes. 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 In the first part of the bill, uh, using the gross income. Mr. Chair, could you ask him to specify ano uh, yes, section yes. to ng bill? Do you have that in the uh, slide, please? Uh, you go to page 3. Uh, it's at the line 26. And then on page... Uh, Line, page 3, line 26, and then page 4, or rather on page 20, line... Uh, page 20. Line 26. Okay. There is a variance on the, the basis, Your Honor, for the tax. The first part, they're using gross income earned, and the other part, for the clerk, they're using just a gross income. The important point is there is a case uh, that went to CTA. The bill uh, issued, issued the regulation that, you know, it defines the basis for gross income. The bill said the, the deduction is exclusive, meaning whatever is uh, 
enumerated in the in the regulation is is uh, limited to what is uh, in the regulation. The CTA said the the enumeration is not limited. It's not exclusive. So uh, we we suggest, Your Honor, para you know to avoid confusion, because as of as of now, we have not yet amended our regulation. The law should be specific on the tax base for purposes of computing the in lieu the five percent gross tax. That's it. Okay, that means we're still discussing the old law as well. And me, I'm always challenging. Uh, what is the view of the BIR if we make it 15, 15, 15 for the free port? And special economic zones, 5%. We, we, we will support that, Your Honor. It's just that you define also what will be the base, well, the rates you have, but for the base to guide us. Because if you leave the determination of the tax base to us, you know, we are a little bit conservative. Of course. Uh, <laughs> because <laughs> <everything's> <laughs> <in surprise. laughs> but if you can guide us, it will help uh, the authority, the payer, and the taxpayers. Because that's that we had a big debate uh, up in my, with my staff no? on uh, converting the U uh, free ports uh, to 15% lang salaries, uh, 15, uh, that which is income tax ng mga individuals doon sa kanilang mga kwan. And 15% to sa corporate tax instead of 5% gross and 15% to real estate tax. So that means SBMA would make money even from me because I have a house in Subi. I will start paying 15% tax on real estate tax. That balances of the situation outside na the city of Olongobo, the city of Angeles, the city of Ambalacab can now tax Pero ang real estate tax na would be 15 percent. Uh, kung pre-port sila, I'm sorry, kung pre-port pala sila, no? uh, kung kasama sa pre-port. Pero hindi naman kasama yung mabalakad doon, di ba? So, this is really a pertains to Olongo po. And so, Subic. But let's say, for Morong and Hermosa, Castillo, San San Marcelino, if there's special economic zone, that's the 5 percent. That will have the relevance of 5 percent. Tama ba yan? Hmm? Yeah. Mr. Chair. Yes. Yes, am I correct in understanding that the BIR stand is big? Well, what they're questioning actually is to define whether we're referring to simply gross income or gross income earned. Is this uh, the stand of the BIR? Is this the point of contention? Yeah. Uh, uh, our revenue regulation, we define, as defined in the revenue regulation, uh, there, there's also this uh, PESA law that uses the adjusted gross income. So the same, you have the same rates across the country, economic zones, but the base is different in the different jurisdiction, Your Honor. So we should have a uniform. Exactly. So I agree with you on that. But ang sinasabi lang niya, Yerodin, is they want a clarification kung ano yung mga allowable deductions. Di ba yun? So it will become uniform. Um, Mr. Chair, first of all, uh, I would appreciate it. You know, I, this is a joke within all my people. I work yes, Do not call me Mr. Chair. I'm not made of wood. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Chairman, would suffice. Mr. Ch Chairman, yes. Um, under the present law, uh, the term gross income earned is already defined. So, um, if it is just a matter of style and uh, consistency. Yeah. The problem there is in other zones, ibang definition. What they want is a standard definition of what gross income is. And what I'd like help from you is how does that translate when manufacturing? Because you're attractive. We're not just in the business of collecting taxes or getting our share in the 5%. What we're really talking about is how do we uh, attract investments? Because if you compare the 15% with Hong Kong at 15%, uh, the 5%, and in other jurisdictions like Vietnam, talo tayo, who are not as attractive. So, because you are the, we, we want you, as you know, in lot of investigation with you, pinakita ko yung customs, ang lumaki, ang collector ng customs, ang customs, ang investigation namin yung Blue Ribbon. Uh, kayo ang magsabi, because yeah, kami, nung ginawa namin yan, we did it with the World Bank. So, although they said 
mataas yung tax rate na yan, regime na yan. For a starting zone, medyo mataas yan. Dapat talaga to attract. And then you can actually later on adjust it as you go along because hindi naman pala palaging permanent yan eh. So, may I get a suggestion from you on what are the allowable deductions in the regime that you are suggesting? Mr. Uh, Chairman, um, I would just like to uh, refer our resource person to the implementing rules and regulations of the present um, RA 7227. It is uh, very specific. In fact, under the section of gross income earned, the uh, different um, sectors or uh, activities are um, already regulated. It says here, number one, allowable deductions, and allowable deductions, etc., etc. Kung ba, kung sa baga, um, sa madalit salita ay uh, malino na malino na po dun sa ating mga implementing rules and regulations. But that being said, I also agree with the, the chairman that maybe uh, we are still in time to uh, to actually review what is to be included or not to be included depending on the, our present economic circumstances. Nasa IRR na po natin at pwede naman po natin rabisahin katulad po ng inyong... It's not, it's dynamic. Right now, it's a, we're, we're legislators. We can reset the policy. All right. Even the, the BIR says this, if we set the policy, BIR has no choice. Uh, may I ask the uh, former chairman of the Yikwan, of uh, Subic, Administrator Subic, who is a graduate of Ateneo and Wharton, the real Wharton, the, the real Wharton. I'm an arrested to describe, uh, to ask on him. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. But I am trying to recall the Subic bill, but the allowable deductions before, I remember, were direct uh, expenses, mostly. So direct salaries and I think direct uh, cost of goods. So if you wanted to attract uh, high value manufacturing within Subic, research and development expenses are not allowable expenses. I think uh, headquarters costs are not allowable expenses. So the, and then Teza has a different, uh, different definition, Mr. Chairman. So I think what uh, our good colleague from the BAR is requesting is that we clarify it. And, it's, and especially if we're targeting specific um, industries or specific clusters, we have to expand the definition to include, you know, sort of like uh, software programming, if you wanted to attract software programming or development, those salaries should not be deductible. No, but that's precisely my point. Um, in manufacturing per se, are we really competitive with Vietnam, with China? I can't say, Mr. Chairman, but you're only deducting direct salaries and direct cost of goods, meaning the laborer lang. You're not deducting anything higher value. So, pag higher value? So, we're uncompetitive in that respect. So, uh, would you say... Subic has been there for a long time, for 25 years. Tatanga ka rin, no? We started out like a house on fire. Kasi palit-palit eh. Alam mo, sa atin. Ang problema ng Pilipinas, napapalit-palit tayo. Hindi lang ang tao, kundi rules and regulations. Mataas ang kuryente natin. Ang labor natin malikot. Hindi maka... Hindi it violates yung rule of law. Na predictability, continuity, and consistency. Nababayarit yan. So... Ang um, sinasabi ko ito ngayon is, uh, kung talagang tama yung tax regime natin, ba't di natin napuno? Because ano nangyayari, yung China puno puti sa Vietnam. Somebody is going to find out why China, China companies are going to Vietnam. And SBMA and Clark should find out. Laki-laki ng Clark, dami lupa, pero mukhang hindi tayo napasok. Now, we're about to do this with rich, no? So we want to know whether that regime will be good. At uh, magagawa tayo ng IRR yan. No? So kailangan uh, conducive na makita ng tao, pare-pareho talaga ang mangyayari at hindi tayo malulugi. 
hindi malulugay yung mga tao natin. So, ano ba ang fine decision? Do you, do you have any research on that matter? Uh, you know, Your Honor, our, our suggestion is that given the predicate laid down by Chair Oresa, uh, we believe that the determination of the gross income should be left to the authority. Because the BIR, you know, uh, we're good in collecting, but we're not we're not very good in determining what are the allowable expenses for a particular industry or business. Uh, I, I will I will I will uh, amend what you just said. You're not only good in collecting, but you want to collect a lot more. Iba ang kalwog. Pero na siguro kung ting ting Philippines ito, you cannot whether an additional balong ang hinihingi lang siya na subi ko ng card. Ang gusto niya uniform. Pero ang only standard should be, will it attract more investments to our country? Yeah. Because the young tax regime, you can change that later on. Let's get to make it higher. I say in the law, after 10 years, we will make a review. Puna puno muna, o hindi muna puno. You review. Like in the case of Bataan, they were a pre-port zone. They were not voting, uh, they were a free trade zone. Nung ginawa na ni free port yan, lupakas. Teacher, there is uh, also the, I'm, I'm not sure if it's in the IRR, the 7030 rule. To be eligible for free port incentives, you have to export 70% of your, uh, or do right 70% of your income from uh, overseas, from, from uh, outside the Philippines. If, if you look at the current climate right now, because of AFTA, manufacturing companies can very well locate in Cambodia or in uh, Vietnam and import the goods to the Philippines and only pay back. So they are able to enjoy you know, very good incentives in those countries. For, con for manufacturing uh, enterprises that locate within Subic or other eco zones, they can, have, they can only sell 30% of their production to the domestic market. So we are unnecessarily penalizing a manufacturing company that lo decides to locate within Subic or within a PESA zone because they are required to export 70%. So, Every time somebody comes in with a new law, what we need like I said yesterday, when it comes to the, the other problem, no? is the team must get together. You want to get a certain amount of money for the coffers of the government. You have to find out whether if we make it the right combination, you can get more money in volume. Because I, I, I posted the situation. Bakit hindi dinumug yung EPSA natin sa bata? No, I don't. Di nung mo bing... Nakon na tayo dyan eh. Kalo ka sabay lang natin ng Korea at Japan eh. And Singapore. Pero sila, di nung mo tayo hindi. No, maybe sila, may labor, may NPA, mahal ang kuryente. But, doing na mahal ang kuryente mo, mahal ang labor mo, ano talaga dapat ang ibibigyan natin tax regime? At dapat susukatin yun kung, let's say, that's good for 5 or 10 years. Then we fine-tune after 10 years. Because the object of government, as far as I'm concerned, is to provide every Filipino with a chance to fight for his livelihood. Pag binigyan mo ng tabaho ang Pilipino, hindi mo nakatupaki niyan. Pag wala kang tabaho, paano yung PPP yan? Eh sayang yung kinukulakta niya. At ang laki nga wala sa corruption. So, we have to find out and I don't know if I have time to ask you, uh, and I will ask Arman also, and I will ask BCD and SBMA, and I'm willing to call another hearing on Friday, just suspend this, para hindi we get back, alam natin ngayon kung ano regime ang pipiliin natin. That's what. Uh, two, for the free port, is it time now to say 15, 15, 15? Ang Hong Kong strategy, your deal is we, when I say we'll have a, a, a good point you should have in Senator Scudero. Ang point namin doon, magkakaroon tayo ng offshore banking at tabahan ng Central Bank. 
of this situation wherein we are legislating uh, amendments that we also review the uh, implementing rules and regulations. So but that, that, that will follow as a matter of course. Yes. Once the law is filed, uh, is approved, we will have to have an IRR. Yes. But I, I almost <laughs> IRR becomes a third Congress. Yeah. So I don't want the IRR to amend what we have done. Yes, sir. I was just uh, taking note of what Mr. Arez has said regarding research and development and HU costs, mm -hmm. whether to include it in allowable deductions or unallowable deductions, but uh, uh, they should come under study mm -hmm. and uh, whatever, is the what are whatever are the findings of, uh, of the SBMA and the BIR and uh, the Judy. Uh, yes, sir. Dapat po siguro include natin. Uh, kaya nga lang, gusto ko lang po sana talang i-address yung inyong concern. Uh, nabanggit ko na nga po na meron tayong IRR. Is that enough to satisfy your concern? The question, Geraldine, is is that enough to get more investors, investors or to be more competitive? Yes, sir. I'm not saying we're amending that. I'm saying, do we have a good team? Do we have a good incentive base to attract? Another you are not my enemy. You are my partners. We are team to the beings. Ang bagay nga ito nga lang sa Vietnam, matakal ko na sinasabi, hindi nakikinig eh. Kasi sarado yung isip na, oh, hihina ang koleksyon natin dyan, huwag tayong pumayag ka agad. Ganun ka agad eh. Hindi pa ka nagsiswa, anong share pa natin dyan? But if you take a look at this, properly, sabi nga ng mga Chinese sa akin, bata ko nun sa Taiwan, ang gagaling yung mga Pilipino, pero, Hindi kayo complete ang staff work yun. Hindi nyo dinadat yung ice, hindi nyo kinukuros yung tissue. Hindi nyo dinitin nga kung anong mangyayari sa mga ginagawa nyo. So what I'm saying is, I'll have the last meeting on Friday. And I would appreciate very much. Sige nyo yung IRR. Tignan nyo yung Arman. Sa staff ko naman si Arman. Consultant ka yan. Tignan nyo yung sa BIR. At finance. Tignan nyo kung ano talaga ang situation na that will both benefit us. I'll give you an example. Limbisa ko palagi yung customs. Hindi naman tayo dapat maglilugi sa customs eh. Ang pinakamalaking nagpapasok dito ng government ay China eh. Pag lumabas ang goods sa China, meron siya ng incentive, meron siya ng rebate. 
So, pag dumating dito, dapat alam natin kung ano ang darating dito. Eh, pag dumating dito, kung yung tingin mo yung kabuuan, ang pumasok dito lang sa isang billion, ang nakolekta lang 200 million. Saan napunta yung 800 million? Hindi lang makikita mo na yan. Okay, kaya sabi ko, tingin mo yung recommendation ko. Pa ang customs at saka BIR, dapat magsama. Kasi may bat yan eh. Paglabas sa customs, may bat. Pagpasok doon sa tindahan, may bat. Pag hinanap mo yung produkto, mapunta doon sa... 167 makikita mo doon lahat yan o ano ba yan nagbayad ka ba lang ba saan mo kinuha yan see because we don't play that's why mahirap tayo that's why marami yung maasa sa corruption eh tama nang hindi tayo makakalis yan kung hindi natin payakan dahil ang talagang regime natin dito it's not just do not steal it's not just do not get kickback it's really making a business out of it kaya talo-talo tayo ng mga Chinese eh tingin nyo yung nakabuhin sa SM o nagsimula yan eh Sabi nga, kalahami kanina, bakit yung mga yan mayayaman? Tayo, nag-aaral ka pa sa Ateneo, nag-aaral ka pa pa sa UP, pero yung mga yan eh, na hindi mo rin magsara sa Tagalog, dumating dito yan, 1958, nagtitinda na sa patos, ganyan, ahi na ang buong Pilipinas. Eh, PI talaga. So, ayun lang, uh, can, can, are you available to do that? Uh, Mag-review lang ngayon ng konti, ah, di ba? Uh, our position is that we we take the lead from the authority. <laughs> yes, because you know, uh, BIR we just adopt the de your definition. <laughs> because of the familiarity of the the different business in the in the zone, Your Honor. Thank you. Actually, the law is fine by itself. I mean, I don't. I, I, I was talking to you again afterwards. I don't know. We talk about that. Yes, yes, yes. It's important that we do. We carry on the law and talk about it. I don't look at all these things, pero gusto ko umulat naman yung bayan ko rin, no? Uh, na hindi lang mga bahay ang tira, natiraan siya ng bahay doon, kaya naman. Ang, uh, ang, 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 uh, ang, ang business is done by 14 stories, 20 stories, nakatira nila sa taas, yung lupa nila, pinagkakakitaan nila sa parenta nila. Ganun yan eh. So, basically, uh, I mean, uh, kayo, uh, do you agree? 15%, 15%? Ako hindi, 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 hindi pa lang gusto niya. At tax mo ngayon, ibababa ng, ibababa ng gobyerno yung corporate income tax, di ba? Magkano yan? 32? Sir, ngayon 30%. 30, o. Bababa natin ng 23%, right? Uh, the trabaho bill, Trabaho-trabaho um, bill. Ano ang big bill na yan? Sige na. Para puro big bill yan. Ano, ano talaga ang bang nangyayari yan? So, um, sa trabaho bill po is 2% for every 2 years reduction. 2% reduction per every 2 years. For every 2 years? Hanggang, hanggang saan ang mabot? 20% po. 20? 20-30. So, kung 15% naman pa tayo? Ha? Oh. Ha? Bakit ka sa tayo ngayon ilang? Kaya kasi, pagdating dito, mag magbabay kang ba tayo? Ipapas pa namin sa Senate. Pibilisan natin yan. Magbabay kang yan. Kung papayos sa Senado, maiba yung bill ninyo, magmimit pa tayo ng Bicameral Conference Committee. So, pag-aralan nyo na kagod dyan. Ah, ang pwede naman sa aming 5%, kung, kung happy na kayo dyan. But sa akin, ang pinaka-importante sa akin, Geraldine, is all these people, Morong, Hermosa, Lachan, Mabalakat, Angeles, kumita ng maraming employment. At nadarating niya kung ang rich lang na ma-approve yan, dadaam na ma-approve ni President yan, dadaami talaga ang trabaho niya. Are there any other questions? Yes, uh, did you want to say something, Mr. Brilliant? Brilliant is there? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, Honorable Senator. From, uh, uh, I am from the Philippine Economic Zones Authority and with me, Pesa, sir. Pesa, sir. Mm -hmm. On behalf of our Director General, Charito Plaza, thank you again for giving us the chance to participate. As seen previously, Pesa has supported the initiatives of the Honorable Senator specifically on the creation of the RIC and even the creation of the expanded Freeport area of Pataan. Uh, humbly, your, sen your Honorable Senator, may we uh, again be, gr uh, be generously be given the opportunity to add some provisions that's right. 
yes sir that was also being reflected in the arising of a bill specifically uh, provision that allows potential or prospective developers and locators to still register with us and for those locators or developers that are already in the RIC Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, in, pwede ba bang pag-iusapan? Pakiulit lang yung last sentence. Yung medyo, can you pronounce yes, it? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, can, can be, can PESA as the same as contained in the RIC and the expanded AFABLO uh, be allowed to continue to register developers and locators? That was done with this allowed? Yes, sir. Did you disallow what? No, ma'am. Uh, this was provision in the Senate Bill 620 that uh, states that all business shall be governed by the SBMA and as of now, Honorable Senator, we have locators that are located in SBMA. No, but you go again. Yes, sir. Uh, for an instance, sir, the Hanjin. 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 Yes, sir. Um, uh, th that's the only concession that we are asking the Honorable Senator. What do you say? Yes, sir. Um, of course, uh, because again, to, uh, to entertain all the other existing locators that actually enjoy PESA, nam, hindi sir yan sabay eh, magkasunod, they will enjoy the PESA bill, the PESA incentives first, like an ITH or income tax holiday, say a 5%, and after the 5% is over, that's when the 5% GIE under the SBMA regime kicks in. So I don't see, we, we don't see any reason um, on why it, we cannot continue that, uh, that uh, yeah. We'll submit a position paper that would reflect the suggestions, Your Honor. Yes. You agree with uh, her? In the current PESA law, the locator can enjoy the ITH, then later uh, they could transition to the 5% gross income tax. Uh, if the locator or the developer chooses to continue with the, our GIE, uh, they, they may so, uh, so long as they do not delist with us. But if they wish to to apply the 5% GIE of the SBMA, they are free to do so, so long as they would delist with us. You know, I'm a big fan of PESA, but I'll tell you something I found out before. The other one, when I go to Manila, I'm going to go to PESA. Hindi na talaga bagong investors yan. Dapat bagong investors. Diba? Kaya sa akin before. Nasa Manila sila, yung regime nila, regular, dilipan sila sa pesos. So, nakakakuha sila. And, bagay, hindi sa kumalis, nasa pesa. Pero, I'd rather we get new investors. That's why sa rich kasama kayo. Diba? Ganun po si Zubik. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Just in relation to what our colleagues from PESA are saying, as long as they do not double dip, because there's a there's a danger uh, with what with how I appreciate what you're saying that you are danger to double dip that they will enjoy PESA and SBMA uh, incentives under the RA7227 if you are located with SBMA. The existing regime is that the available incentive from different agencies will be sequential. So again, as I said, if, if, if the provision of the PESA law allows a five-year income tax holiday, after which uh, then they can choose to now go under the RA7227 regime, which allows the 5% GIE. As long as there's no double dipping, because that, that is when it's going to be questionable and disadvantages to the government. Hindi truth, yun eh. Hindi truth eh. Pag nag-double dip kayo, wala naman bago. So, kailangan talaga kumotin ang bago. That's why I'm saying, uh, for all intents and purposes, we have to look at our tax regimes. Ang talagang competitive. Di ba? Yes, sir. So, you might want to do the same thing and make your position paper. I'd rather, sabit lang kayo maikling position paper and explain it here. Ano yun, marireflect naman yan eh. Huwag na kayong tumagal dito sa mga position papers, kasi hindi binabasa yan. Mr. Chairman, sa malalit salitang gusto ng PESA ay hindi na magdalis ang mga kumpanya once they've exhausted their PESA benefits. Um, ba doon ba ang aming... Uh, not, not exactly, ma'am. Just, so, just, just, po ninyo. just giving them the option to continue with their PESA registration or if their management chooses to, they could delist with us and register with SBME if that's their 
uh, policy direction as a company. And what is uh, the specific purpose kung bakit ayaw nyo mag-delease sa inyo? If uh, ayaw mag-delease na, no? Mag-delease. Like, for example, Hanjin, um, they first enjoyed the five-year ITH under the PESA law, yeah, but then when it finished, they now moved to the regime under uh, RA7227. <laughs> what he's saying is that they, the Hanjin should be allowed to want to stay with PESA if they want to and not enjoy the SBMA regime. Well, if they, 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 they did move to us, but the um, um, if they can choose to stay with you or to move yes, to another Let's give them the option if they want to stay That's with you. That's what you said. The, the option already exists. Mm -hmm. I think here that the option already exists. The mere fact that Hanjin continues to be PESA registered and is existing in SBMA is proof of that. So could you be very specific? Ano talaga ang gusto ninyo? If I may, if I may uh, call your attention to Section 2 of Senate Bill 660. Uh, yes. I just wanted to point out because assuming for the sake of, uh, I actually, we actually do, we are, I'm now talking with uh, the head of Clark Development Corporation. In general, the way we understand what you're saying, we do not have any violent objections to it, but we wanted to remind you that assuming that they stay within the PESA, PESA regime, they will not have to pay the estate taxes, because that's the things that they save when they go into, yeah. so it, we ha the freeport incentives, when they go into the freeport incentives. Uh, as to so real property tax, the, the PESA compels the developer to still pay the RP RPT. Exactly. So because it's the same with you. No, so because we, that's the point. In under our regime, there's no payment of real estate taxes. Uh, what we are suggesting, ma'am, as also reflected in the RIC bill and the expanded AFAB law, is that the companies are not compelled to delist with us. Just give them the option to stay with us or if they want to enjoy the superior incentives being offered by the expanded AFAB or by the RIC, they may do so. But there should be no automatic delisting on the part of the developer. Mr. Chairman, uh, you're talking about, the, uh, the resource person is talking about the AFAB law, which is not the law in question. If this is his fear, I mean, uh, under the present arrangement, uh, the uh, locators actually have that choice. So I don't see any point unless, of course, it is specified in the Senate uh, version because... If I may, Your Honor, I would read Section 2 of Senate Bill 660, under which it states, involve, involve the Supreme Authority having authority and jurisdiction over all business and economic activities within the SBF. So that's the provision that we would like to participate and would like to replicate what was contained in the RIC and the expanded AFAB law, Your Honor. As we're talking about uh, the regime right now, yes, sir. that we're trying to establish. As of now, Your Honor, there's no conflict between them. No problem with that right now. There's no problem with that. Uh, that is a uh, prospective. No? We, 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 I, I'm your chairman for government corporations, and you can always bring it up with me. All right? And then we can call another hearing on that particular matter, but not here. Not at this time. I request ko lang sa inyo, tingin nyo lang, again, you know, I, I don't necessarily look at all the bills right away. I, 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 I go with the vision and the concept. And if the objective is to generate resources or generate jobs, which is the original intention of any special economic zone. It is a quick fix to get jobs. Kaya ka nagbibigay ng tax incentives. Walang problema yun. If your objective now, beyond just getting jobs, is to be competitive in the sense that you get higher value companies to come in, that's a different uh, motivation. So you have to fine tune that. Uh, you know, uh, do you have a science park in PESA? I think, sir, uh, yes, sir, we have a science uh -huh. park. Uh, for instance, in, the, in Laguna, we have a science park there. 
and also in Quezon City, the Osayala oh, town, yes sir. Uh, but those are BPOs, di ba? Yes sir. Wala pa yung software talaga development. Pero ba yan? Yes sir. For example, in Baguio, all the universities want to get out of Baguio provided they can get land in Tuba. So gusto ko yan, because kung yung universities pupunta doon, kukunin ko doon panay, panay software companies. So, ibang incentives nun dapat. Yan yung nasabi ni Arman na high value yan. Kaya nga, yun ang tingnan nyo, Robert, para may adjust natin. Pwede naman natin sabihin, when it comes to manufacturing, ito ang regime. When it comes to higher end, ito ang regime. So, you give an incentive for high value uh, investors to come in. Di ba? Are you listening, uh, Mr. Villagas? Uh, uh, tingnan nyo yan. Di ba hindi naman, alam mo ito, sa ating basa, pag nangyari, sumulat yung mga subik, ang dami sumulat eh, sa buwang ka, kagayaan, ang dami-dami, uh, uh, sa Surigao, they want the uh, processing zone. Tingnan mo muna, baka hindi kikiksay yan, kung gano'n. Kailangan meron kang uh, uh, a confluence of uh, schools, of uh, infrastructure, of, uh, of uh, you know, accessibility. You know, we are a country that should have been number one a long time ago. Eh. We never took advantage of it. Eh. Okay? Because we suck up that diet, we talk about it, we talk about it, we talk about it. This is why I have another time here. I was so good. Suck up, the way it's quite. Oh, but it's a subic, my preport. Come here, so big guy. And if I have one, I'm going to be a good guy. I'm going to be a good guy. So, I'm going to be a good guy. Hanggang ngayon, nagpapasalamat pa yung mga investors sa akin eh. So, what I'm trying to do here, and I'm not trying to pat myself in the back, is to make sure that when we come out with this regime, okay tayo, kung let's say sabihin natin sa free port, mag-adjust tayo, di lang tayo 5% sa free port, sabihin natin ka lang. O let's say, sa hotel, ang regime dito sa hotel, ayun ako po pwede yan, matawa, I'm willing to look at anything eh. Uh, I read Franklin Roosevelt would put up all the ideas on the wall and he'll pick the good ones and make it eclectic. No? So he said, if the hotel is more than 5% tax or more than 15%, all the hotels are more than 2%. That's what happened. All the hotels are more than 5%. You know, the hotels are more than 5%. But I realized that it's different. 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 E eh, paano may ibang mga senaryos? Bakit sa subig pumasok? Sabi ko nga, hindi mangyayari, sorry ha. Hindi mangyayari ito na mag strike kayo dito. Kung meron kayong problema dito, nakapit kayo sa akin. Kaya hindi na ako ng labor union. Wala ko pa kayo nang sa inyo. Pagka napuno ko na ito ng trabaho, saka tayo mag-labor union. Right now, wala muna ng labor union. Dumami. Pasok ang Acer. Pasok yun, babalik ka naman ng Acer, di ba? Uh, abalik ang Acer. So, you see, ang dami nating kulang na nakukulangan tayo at hindi tayo dapat naghihintay. Dapat sumusugod tayo na sumusugod. At pag sumugod tayo, kung pare-pare yung regime natin, magkakatalo lang kung saan lokasyon, kung ano ang malapit sa eskwela, kung ano ang malapit sa airport, kung ano ang... Doon lang magkakatalo yun eh. Eh, kung pag-isinatalo nyo, nakulugi tayo, eh, brownfield, greenfield pa nga yan, eh. Wala naman kayo makukuha kahit anong buhay nyo dyan eh. Kaya di pagkali nyo, wala kayong mamukuha, wala namang mga wala tak sa inyo eh. Alright? Okay, any other comments, Arlando? Ano ba siya? Department of... Chiesa, sir. Chiesa. Chiesa, sir. Chiesa, sir, I fully support the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority Report Bill, updating and upgrading the powers and function of the SBMA, and increasing its potential to further contribute to the economic growth and development in the Central Luzon region. BCDA law ito, ha? BCDA. Yes, sir. However, sir, we seek clarification on the scope of the powers and function of SBMA with regard to adding a representative of the private sector to tourism as part of the expanded SBMA board, considering that CHESA, by virtue of Republic Act 9593, is mandated as the national investment and infrastructure development arm of tourism in the country, sir. Yeah. Thanks, too. Thanks, too. Yes, sir. Kasalamat ka naman sa akin. Ako gumawa ng chese. 
<laughs> yeah, <bang yun. laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. Yes. With regard to the position of the ESA, to uh, if my memory serves me right, and I'm still very young, um, wala naman po kami nilagay na uh, private sector f specifically for tourism. I think what we place is private sector. That's merong options. This is. With specializations uh, in various areas, na pwede naman mamili, siguro. I, I would be very frank. Huh? I, I'm trying to get all your thoughts now because pagbalik natin sa Friday, by hook or by crook, we have to finish. Because we're, ang kalaban natin, time eh. And uh, yung hindi na, yung makulit, hindi ko na ilalagay kung makukulit ang tayo, mapasok. I, I would still be here for the next three years and I can still amend it. But I want this approved. Kung may mali, i-amend ko hindi sa susunod. But we have to pass this way uh, by uh, next week. Uh, para may habol natin. At the very latest, pwede tayo doon sa lame duck session. Mas ma-approve natin ang third reading, pwede ma-approve ng Presidente. Okay, so again, I respectfully request all of you, if you have any comments, just put the general outline. Madali naman ako eh. Makakaayos na natin yan pagka nakaintindihan na tayo dito eh. Ganoon ang ginawa ko din sa lahat ng bilis ko. Mabilis, tapos kagad. Kung i-sli sa inyo yung batas, naku, hindi maanong tapos yan. Eh kahapon yung, kahapon ba yun, yung OSG bill? Yung SSS bill, ano, ayan, malilikot na bill. Okay? I, Mr. Chief, yes. if, if we could try to uh, invite uh, Senator Bam Aquino this Friday, because uh, nagkakaroon po ng misunderstanding, was on the part of the House, I'm one of the principal authors, and I know what we submitted uh, here to the, transmitted to the Senate, but uh, ito palang binabanggit nyo tungkol ng TSA na representative for tourism is actually in the Senate version. E eh, alam mo mangyayari kung walang representante. Al alam nyo sa totoo lang, I'll be very frank. Yung mga representative, representative na yan, puro title oriented yan. I'm sorry. That's a lot of baloney. Title lahat yan. Oh, kaya may representative kami dito. May Tapos yung upo lang doon. That is mine. That's why when I did Subi, Ang kinuha ko, worker from ship repair facility, worker from naval supply depot. Alam nila yung bill, alam nila yung kung ano yun eh. Alam nila kung anong laman nung subik eh. E nung pinalitan na ako, naging spoil system na yan, nilalagay na kahit na sinong prinsipyo di hudas doon. Sorry ha, price ng company included. Di ba gadget sa inyo? Ilang beses na kayo nagpapalit sa Clark? Wala eh, hindi tayo matuto eh. You know, Jardine, trust me. Pag nilagay ngayon dyan, naku, hindi magtatrabaho. Meron kayo nung araw, asawa ng mayor nilagay. Uh, dahil gumagaya rin yung ulong ko, okay ka kaya dyan, pag nilagay sa akin mo dyan, huwag nilagay sa akin mo dyan, kumuha ka na magaling. Kung hindi magaling yung asawa mo, mat matitay po ka dyan eh. <laughs> Tignan nyo sa, sa Baguio, ginawa ko dun, yung mga matatandang igorot, mga ebogo. Kayong mamili kung sino yung pinakamagli sa inyo. Hindi yung basta bata ni Mayor, bata ni Governor. Mr. Chairman. Yes, ma'am. Yes. One of our amendments is specifically to address this kind of situation wherein the positions are used as paybacks to... Meron kayo ka dadalo kayo. We have actually specified different um, requirements to be able to qualify for a uh, seat in the board. In fact, we said sh he should be a uh, college graduate, he or she should be a college graduate, and should have a specialization no, in the different professional expertise sa different sectors po na integrate namin dito. That's why I, I, I kept quiet. Hindi po kaya tourism niya, alam mo na yung tourism. Hindi, I'm sorry, ah. Doon na, nilagyan niyo doon sa tiyasa, kung sino-sino, nagkagulo kayo. Ay, di ko pa pareho yun. Kulang ko itin ko ako. Eh, kulang nalang. Kasuha ko ko lahat kayo yun eh. <laughs> Sarong dyan ako, investigayin. <laughs> Wala nang ginagawa lang yan. Okay? So, can we meet on Friday? Ano ba oras yung meeting ko sa umaga? Ha? 10 o'clock. Say 2 o'clock? 2 o'clock? 
and if you could give it to me earlier, uh, my office is open. Uh, I think I have my phone number. Just call me para papakuha ko kailangan. Dalhin niyo ko saan tayo magkikita. Pero mas maganda kung meron kayo suggestion. Kung wala, okay lang. Kami ng bara. Just for, just for the purposes of the record, on be, I would like to say uh, on behalf of uh, Clark Development Corporation, we both worked uh, very closely with the House of Representatives when they passed the... I know, you'd like to be the House of Representatives. Yeah. I've heard that already. Nakukulitin niyo tayo ako dyan. No, sir. So, but then, of course, we would very much welcome to sit with your staff so that we can move forward. You're welcome to do that. You're your senators. Yes, sir. Thank We're you very much. You're your representatives. You're not uh, God's here. We want to come out with the best law. Right? You know me. Ano ka ba? Iikita mong ano ah. Sige. Hindi ka naman magiging ko. Hindi ka magaling eh. Alright? Okay. Session is suspended until 2. Oh! The Honorable Vince Dixon is here. Shall I put your head here so I can bang it on the gamut? Can you sit down? Panis ka. Mag-meeting nga kayo. Mag-meeting nga yung itong staff. Lahat kayo. Kaya nga nga... Ah, yung binahayat pero na ibang, ibang animal yan. Kayo, sa binahas, ha? No, we don't. Uh, we actually support the... We just want to help them on the definition yeah. of the tax base. Yeah. But and I appreciate fact, your comments. Uh, Tama yung nangyari ako. Yes, yes, Your Honor. We give it to them. Kayo na may hirapan eh. Exactly, Your Honor. Gusto ko dito ang gobyerno ba? Kasi hindi pa hindi kikita ang gobyerno. Alam ko kayo nagmamadalo. Okay? Session is uh, suspended until uh, Friday at 2 o'clock. You don't know how hard I work here. I work every day. And I am active in the Senate at uh, sponsoring and uh, amending and everything. Okay? Thank you.